me how to play a three-part version of the song Drunken Sailor made for percussion. I hope you enjoy it. This is the second tutorial on how to play Drunken Sailor, my percussion arrangement, and today we're going to be learning how to play the bass line. Now it starts on a D, now if you can't find your D, then you're going to have to look at the black notes up here, and they're going to be grouped in groups of two, followed by groups of three. Two, three. And you're going to go to the group where there's two of them, and the D is actually the white note in between those two notes. Okay, this is a terrible example because obviously this is made out of wood, so everything's brown. But still, that's how you would find a D on a keyboard. The rhythm of the bass line is very similar to the djembe rhythm. So if you're struggling with the rhythm, I actually recommend watching the third part of the tutorial video first because you'll get a better feel for it. But the rhythm sounds like this. This, this is where you're hitting and this is how it's subdivided. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now I recommend you do this with me because you have to be able to clap this while saying the other numbers. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. That's too complicated, you can just clap on the actual whole numbers. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And we're just gonna play a D triad, D, F and A. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And the second part is the same exact pattern, but you're going to start with a rest. Rest, D, F, A. And the rhythm's a little bit different, it's just crotchets. Rest, hit, hit, hit. Rest, D, F, A. Rest. So if I were to put those two ideas together, it sounds like this. And you want to get to the point where you can actually count the subdivisions behind it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. With proper notation, it would be eighth note, so it would be like this. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. However, for some of you that may be tricky, so I'm just going to play it now and you can follow along. One, two, three, four. Now, similarly to the melody video, we are now going to take that pattern and move every note down one. So now you're going to be playing C, E, and G. So let's play that one a couple of times. Great, now we've reached a checkpoint and now we're going to alternate between the D idea and the C idea. Let's play that four times. One, two, three, four. Amazing. Now once you can do that, the last step is to play the D idea, the C idea, you go back to the D idea, just like the melody, only you have a small spin on it. We're going to start from F and we're going to go F, A, and once we've hit those two notes, we're going to move both of our mallets down a note, F, A, mallets down one note, E, G, mallets down one note again, D, F, A. So let me show you that really slowly. F. A, down one note, E, G, down one note, D, F, A. Now if you've got the coordination, also add the D with the last A, so it gives you a bit of harmony. 
Let's put all that together. One, two, three, four. Let's try that twice in a row. One, two, three, four. Go. Okay, now we can put everything together. So it was the D idea, the C idea, the D idea, and then that new ending. If you've forgotten anything, just go back to the video and relearn that part. One, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And there you have it, you've learnt the bass line to Drunken Sailor. Now once you feel comfortable, you can go back and play that with the backing video. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped.